Hey what's going on guys Tanmay R for the Lisco learnings and in this video tutorial which is sort of like the part 3 of regular expressions in javascript we are going to be understanding repeating characters in regular expressions we are going to take a look at some special characters that can be used in regular expressions and lastly we are also going to be performing validations for a proper mobile number okay so these are the three things that we are going to be doing in this video tutorial so as you can see on the screen i have already opened up the regex101.com website wherein you can validate for a particular regular expression we've seen this website in the first part of regular expressions also so what we will do is we'll first try to understand the regular expression on this website because this will give us a exact idea about how the regular expression works and then we'll take this regular expression and go to the coding part to perform the actual coding in javascript so in the previous video we saw character sets and ranges so when you want to give a particular character set you give square brackets and inside that you specify the character set so right now what i've specified is our regular expression can have either a b or c as a character so if i type in a a is valid you can see a is highlighted as blue if i type in b b is also highlighted separately if i type in c c is also highlighted but if i type any other text it is not getting highlighted by the way i have turned on the global flag which means that it will return all the matches it finds and if you turn it off it will return only the first match right now let's keep it on so this was character sets and if you want to give a character range you just have to say a hyphen and the starting and ending value so anything between a to z will be matched so i say a b c d e f g so we are checking for only one character over here that is why individually every character is being highlighted so this is what we saw in the previous video so let's do this for a mobile number let's try to validate a indian mobile number so now what we are going to be doing is we know that the first value of a indian mobile number has to be something between 7 to 9 right so the first number can be 7 8 or 9 now i'm not sure if we have numbers starting from 6 i don't think so in india but we have numbers starting from 7 8 and 9 so this is the first number and then we have nine more numbers right so they can be anything between 0 to 9 so now i can say 0 to 9 so this is for the second position in the string right in the entire string so the first position can be occupied by a number which is between 7 to 9 the second position can be occupied between 0 to 9 again the third position can be occupied between 0 to 9 and this goes on and on right so i can copy this and i can paste it for the fourth position for the fifth sixth seventh eighth and ninth so this is valid this will work let's try to input a number and let's see if this works so i'm going to say so i just inputted a 10 digit number but it is not getting highlighted because the first character that is the first digit is not between 7 and 9 so let's change that when i do 7 I'm getting a highlightation of the first ten digits because I specified only nine places. So let me just copy this zero to nine one more time, and there you go. You can get the entire number. But this is still not a proper validation. So why is it not a proper validation? So if I type in anything over here also, it is still getting highlighted, right? So what we are looking for is a particular pattern in the entire string. This is not we want. What we want is we want a particular ten digit number. so it has to be only 10 digits so if you type anything after the 10 digits it should be invalid but right now if you see the highlightation is on which means it is valid right so this is an issue which we will tackle in a minute let's see one more thing before that so instead of typing the 0 to 9 0 to 9 0 to 9 n number of times what i can do is when there are certain repeating characters i can just specify the number of times it is repeated in curly braces so this 0 to 9 is repeated 9 times right so in this curly braces i can say 9 which means that this 0 to 9 number has to be repeated 9 more times so this is equivalent to writing this entire thing 0 to 9 0 to 9 9 different times so instead of that this is very easy right and this is also valid with characters so if i say a to z even this will work but now the string has to be 7 to 9 and then followed by some characters okay so this is for repeating characters you can use curly braces and the number of times you want it to be repeated So this was one thing. Now I also wanted to talk about some special characters that can be used instead of numbers or words. So when you want to specify some digits, let's say you want to specify zero to nine, right? So instead of writing zero to nine in the square brackets, what you can do is you can replace this zero to nine with a backward slash and d. So this is the same thing. So let me just go to the coding part and I will tell you what it is. So there are many special characters, but right now we are just looking at four different ones. So backward slash d means match any digit which is equal to zero to nine. So instead of writing zero to nine in square brackets for that range, if you just write in slash d, 
it means one and the same similarly when you want to match any word character that is a to z in small caps a to z in large caps that is capital caps 0 to 9 and underscore you can simply write slash w so coming to the website instead of having something like a to z then a to z so this is valid this is valid right so instead of this you can also write backward slash w okay similarly s is for white spaces that is for example spaces and tabs if you want to match spaces and tabs that is if you want your regular expression string to match for a particular space or a particular tab you can say slash s or if you're just looking for a tab you can use slash t okay so these are the four generally used or most typically used special keywords and now let's move on with the actual mobile number validation so up until now what we did is we said that we want a range of 7 to 9 for the first digit then we said we want all the digits for nine more times right so this is something that we have achieved up until now but the problem here is let's let's say we enter a proper number 7 and then 9 times 8 so this is valid however if you type something else before and after it it is still getting validated so now let's try to use this in our actual code so i'm gonna just copy this regular expression so in the coding part i've already written some code let me just quickly explain to you it is pretty much similar to what we did in the previous two videos so if you watch that this would be very easy to understand so here what i did is i have a input type with id text one i have named the placeholder as cell phone because we are validating for cell phone then we have a label which is hidden so it's not visible as of now we will make it visible when we get a valid or invalid entry i've given it an id of lbl text and we have a button which is named as submit it is not a type of submit button it is a basic button but when we click on it we call the validate function so in the validate function i'm taking the text into a variable named text from document.getElementById by accessing the text1 so text1 is the id given to the input type so that's how i'm accessing the value whatever you enter inside this text box and then i'm passing the regular expression over here so this is where we want to pass the new regular expression that we just typed in the website and in the if else what i'm checking is if we get a match so this is the test method which returns true if we get a match of this pattern in that string and that string is stored inside this text variable right so whatever we enter over here in the text box gets into this text variable we are passing that text variable inside this test method this test method will check if this regular expression pattern is there inside this text if it is there then what i am doing is i am accessing the label which is having an id of lbl text so this is that label i am accessing the inner html which means i am accessing the value which is inside the label that is the text inside the label which is invalid currently and i am changing it to valid the next thing that i am doing is I am making it visible by accessing the style.visibility attribute and lastly I am changing the color to green. So this is basically CSS manipulation and if it is not matching then I am doing the text as invalid. I am still keeping it visible but I am changing the color to red. Okay, So I am not popping up an alert box, I am doing it a little bit differently and I hope you have got the idea. You can pause the video if you want to type it out but this is pretty basic that we have done in the previous videos also. Okay, So let's type in a number and let's see if it is valid or invalid. So again typing in 9 and then 9 times 7. So this is valid, right? Because we started off with 9. Let's say if we start off with 0, this would be invalid, right? Because the first digit has to be between 7 to 9. So let's again make it 7 and this is valid. However, the problem arises when even if I type in some other text before and after this, it is still going to be showing us valid. See if I'm clicking on it, it is still valid. So we are not performing cell phone or mobile number validation properly over here. So what is being missing is the start and end of the regular expression. That is we want to define that it has to be only 10 digit numbers, right? So we cannot have 11 digits or we cannot have less than 10 digits also. So how do we specify this? So this is specified by two different special characters which defines the start and the end of the string. That is the start and the end of the pattern. So in the regular expression, the start of the regular expression is given by a caret sign. So do not confuse this caret sign with the caret sign which was inside. So when you have a caret sign inside a square brackets and then you have something. So this caret sign means that 7 to 9 cannot exist as the first digit. Okay. So when you have a caret sign inside a square bracket, whatever you type in inside the square bracket after the caret sign cannot be used as the first location or the location wherever you have specified that square brackets. Okay. So let me just show it to you. So when I have caret sign inside the square bracket and I have 7 to 9. 
and if I type in seven and then nine times nine, this will give me invalid because now I don't want seven to nine as the first digit. So this is basically negating that. Okay. So when you want to exclude something, you type in caret inside square brackets. If I remove this and if I try to again input the same number and submit, it will give me valid. So don't confuse this caret with the outside caret. So when you have an outside caret, it, it turns blue. So this basically points the first or the starting point of your regular expression. So now if I input the number again and submit it, I'm still getting valid. But if I have anything at the start, now it will give me invalid. Okay. So we have defined the starting point and it has to be starting with seven to nine, right? But here the string is starting with SD, SD. So that's why it is giving us invalid. So one part is done, but what about the end of the string? So if I type in something over here, it will still give me valid. So this is where another character comes in and that is dollar. So this dollar denotes the end of the string. Okay. So now if I enter this number again, and if I try to add some value at the end and at the start, it will give me invalid. If I remove this and if I still have something else at the end, it will still give me invalid. So only when I remove this FG, FG extra and have 10 digits, which are having this pattern, that is the first digit has to be between seven to nine and followed by digits nine times, only then it is going to give me valid. So now we have properly done cell phone validation. So I hope you've understood what is this caret sign and dollar sign for this caret sign denotes the start of the regular expression. And this dollar sign basically denotes the end of the regular expression in simple words. And whatever we have inside has to be exactly in that pattern. So in this case, what we have inside is the first digit has to be between seven to nine. And then we are using this slash digit instead of this slash D, you can also have zero to nine, right? So this is one and the same. That's what we discussed over here. And now if you enter anything which matches this pattern, we will get valid. Okay. So this was proper mobile number validation. Now this was specifically for Indian mobile numbers because it starts from seven to nine. If you are from some other country, obviously your regular expression will be different. And one last thing that I would want you guys to try out is try out a regular expression wherein the first character has to be between five to nine. Okay. Then the next eight characters. So first character has to be between five to nine. Next eight characters have to be between A to Z and last character has to be a zero. Okay. So try out this regular expression and what you can do is you can just comment out the regular expression in the comment section below and then I'll check and let you know if it's correct or not. You can also check that on the website, which is regex101.com. So obviously you'll get to know whether it is correct or not. But let me know in the comments if you are able to solve this regular expression example. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. I hope you got an idea about how to validate mobile numbers using regular expressions in JavaScript. And we also saw some different special characters and how to perform repeating numbers. So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.